My name's Chris Chalkley, I'm based in Jamaica Street Studios in Stokes Croft. Are you any good with a chisel? The People's Republic of Stokes Croft, uh, it started as an idea, a kind of mythical entity really, um, which has the possibility of being um, a rallying point for social change within the area. The whole thrust of putting the work up in November was to change the vibe of the area. All right, are we all happy? Yeah. Is that looking straight? That's looking good to me. Does it look bang on, everybody? To showcase and use the local skills of the local artists who work here and live here to, to really suggest possibility. And that's why on the Carriage Works, which is a derelict building, I felt it was important that we could just float the idea that it could be something other than more flats and more commercial development that could become a community centre. And so what we actually need is workshops and areas where we can show the kind of stuff that we do. So even on a commercial economic basis, it seems to me that the way forward would be to use Stokescroft as a pilot for these ideas. What we're going to be doing, and it's going to be a bit radical, we're going to make it an official tagging space so that they, if people want to tag, they can tag there. Because if we actually get to the point where we don't let them have anywhere, then they're going to be so doing it anyway. Do it anyway. So we're going to try and, you know, just try okay. some new different ideas. What we're going to do is we're going to locate this up in this space there, and then we've got all the letters and so we've got the little screws that will just sit in there. So if we pre-prepare -pre them all, then you, it's just... Zzz, zzz. And it, it's completely in, a, in our style of Helvetica Bold, which is the art font, which is exactly what we yeah. want. And it's handmade. And what's really good about it is because it sticks out, we can go across with a roller and, it's done and you see it again. Whatever they do. Forever, what whatever they do, we can just turn along and paint it again. That's a clever idea. We should have a place for taggers, for local people who want to make murals for political discussion so we could have walls for political discussion and of course for the architecture the actual physicality of the building so all of these things have to be meshed together to produce the most interesting and pleasant possible urban environment and that is possible i see no reason why we can't create an outdoor gallery in stokes craft using just what we've got The great thing about Stokescroft is if you walk through it, you will have some kind of powerful experience, whether it be a visual experience or an experience reacting with one or many of the locals, because you have got an epicentre of eccentricity in Stokescroft. I like Stokescroft. It's a nice area. It's caught in the middle between Kingsdown and St Paul's. It seems to be a bit forgotten and I don't like that because it's a good area, there's some good people here and I don't like the way that it's, get, it's ignored. The stuff that we've seen on the legal wall in Jamaica Street has been fantastic and totally well received by pretty much everybody. In fact, in the last 12 months, I can, cannot think of any negative comments whatsoever, which is quite mad. It looks good. I 
think they're really, really good pictures. I think there's a place for everyone and I think it's great that we do have a vibrant and changing street culture. And that's one of the things that has impressed me enormously. Everywhere you look in Stokes Croft, there are pieces of work at this point and it could be a template for everywhere else because in microcosm we have all the social problems and strengths also of society in its widest context right here in Stokes Croft. Well, we've got all the eight big pictures in, so it's at a place where we can stop, and we've got loads more to follow, and we're now going down the pub.